Welcome to Valuation of Bonds Part 4. This is the fourth in the series of five videos on valuation of bonds. This is problem number 732 from the Fundamentals of Corporate Finance. We are going to learn and compare different types of yields on two bonds. Bond P is a premium bond, meaning it's selling at a price above the par value, whereas bond D is a discount bond, meaning it's selling at a price below the par value. The par value for both bonds is $1,000. Bond P has a coupon rate of 10% paid annually, whereas bond D has a coupon rate of 4% also paid annually. Both bonds have yield to maturity of 7%. Both bonds mature in 10 years. So coupon rate is the only difference we see in these bonds. We need to calculate the current yield and the capital gain yield for both bonds assuming the yield to maturity remains unchanged. Here is the timeline for bond P. The par value is $1,000. The coupon payment is 10% of $1,000, which equals $100 annually. To find the current price, we are going to discount the cash flows by 7% which is the yield to maturity and we know that bond P matures in 10 years. Now we are going to calculate the price of the bond using a financial calculator. We start by clearing the time value of money worksheet. So we press second clear TVM. The maturity of the bond is 10 years so we set n equals 10. The yield to maturity is 7%. So we set i slash y to 7. The coupon payment is $100. So we set payment to $100. The par value or the face value is $1,000. So we set future value to $1,000. And we want to make sure that we have only one coupon payment set per year. So we go second, P slash Y, and here we have two from before. So I'm going to change that to one. Now we compute the present value of the bond. Comes out to 1210. 71. The current yield of a bond equals the annual interest payment divided by the current price. So we divide the coupon payment of $100 by the price we just calculated and find the current yield to be 8.26%. The current yield measures only the return associated with the bond's interest payments. To find the capital gain or loss over the next year, assuming the yield to maturity remains unchanged, we we'll calculate the price with nine years remaining to maturity. We repeat the calculator steps to find the present value by setting n equals nine. And the present value comes out to $1,195.46. So there is a capital loss of 1.26%. Capital gain yields measures only the return from an increase or decrease in the price of a bond. We can verify our answer by equating yield to maturity to the sum of the current yield and capital gain yield. The yield to maturity is the total return to the bond holder if the bond is held until maturity. So 7% equals 8.26% plus the capital gain yield. Therefore, the capital gain yield equals negative 1.26%. A premium bond will always have a negative capital gain yield. To understand why, we revisit what we learned in part one. We saw 
that the price of a premium bond shown on the top declines over time if the yield to maturity remains unchanged and this results in a capital loss. Here we have a timeline for bond D. The par value is $1,000. The coupon payment is $40. The yield to maturity or the discount rate is 7% and the bond matures in 10 years. With N equals 10 and payment equals 40, we calculate the present value to be $789.29. So the current yield is $40 divided by 789.29 or 5.29. 7%. To find the capital gain yield over the next year, we find the price with n equals 9 to be 804.54 and the capital gain yield to be 1.93%. Again, we can confirm this by equating yield to maturity to current yield plus capital gain yield. So 7% equals 5.07% plus capital gain yields. Therefore, capital gain yields equals 1.93%. Again, we revisit what we learned in part one of the video. Looking at the lower curve corresponding to a discount bond, we can see that the price of a discount bond rises over time if yield to maturity remains the same. Thus, we have a capital gain as opposed to a capital loss. In summary, yield to maturity equals current yield plus capital gains yields. Current yield is the return related to interest payments. Capital gains yield is the return related to price. For a premium bond, the current yield is greater than the yield to maturity. So the capital gain will be negative. For a discount bond, the current yield is lower than yield to maturity. So the capital gain will be positive, assuming that the yield to maturity remains the same. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Your comments and suggestions are welcome.